You might have seen the signs in Central Phoenix about a pedestrian and bike project along Coulter Street, making it a long but safe corridor for walkers and cyclists alike. Yeah, it's getting mixed reviews, though, from some of the neighbors who live right along there. In this Operation Safe Roads report, Jorge Torres went to Coulter Street, speaking with those who might be affected by those changes. The neighborhoods along Coulter Street in Central Phoenix are fairly quiet, but that may change soon as the city of Phoenix is designing a project that they say will help improve the safety and infrastructure for residents that walk and bike this street. The first part of the project is set to begin from 15th Avenue all the way down to 7th Street. That's more than 20 blocks, and some of the residents who live along those 20 blocks on Coulter have their concerns about the project. I don't think that we get a lot of bike traffic coming through here. That includes Tyson Smith, who's lived in the Pasadena neighborhood near 15th Avenue in Coulter for the past six months. I had seen the signs and everything. The signs referring to resident feedback on proposed changes along Coulter, including hawk signals, roundabouts, and sidewalks where there currently aren't any, including in the historic Windsor Square neighborhood between Central Avenue and 7th Street. Coulter is an unusual street in that it just keeps going. Longtime Windsor Square resident Susan Bigner, who didn't go on camera, tells ABC 15 that the community understands the city's viewpoint to connect Coulter for pedestrians and cyclists to enjoy safely, but also wants to keep the integrity of the neighborhood intact. And our goal as neighbors that have lived in the neighborhood and I live on Coulter is to help them do the best job possible. Find a way to preserve mature landscape and what makes this a historic neighborhood. It's special. The second part of the Coulter Street project goes from 7th Street to 20th Street, sharing similar design concepts. Nothing is set in stone, and the city's street transportation department will hold a virtual public meeting Tuesday at 6 p.m., providing updates about the project's design phase. This also gives residents an opportunity to comment. I think they're very early in the game, and I think our goal is to volunteer our time to make this a very successful project. And ask questions. When it comes to civic improvements, redoing roads, making things better, um, improving traffic, that is a valiant effort in my opinion. But right here, is that maybe the best place to do it? For Operation Safe Roads in Phoenix, I'm Jorge Torres with ABC 15 Arizona. Jorge, right, thank you. The City of Phoenix uh, Street Transportation Department tells ABC 15 it welcomes any feedback regarding the project. So we have a link on ABC15.com where you can sign up for a virtual meeting.